Hey Internet! So, this week I've been playing a game which really, I don't understand why it's taken me this long to play, because I'm such a huge fan of the franchise, uh, and that game of course is Halo 3 ODST. Now if you don't know, originally it was meant to be just kind of an expansion to Halo 3, but then it kind of quickly developed into a full-fledged game, uh, and it came out uh, like six months ago, maybe more. And I still haven't gotten around to playing it, so thankfully I got my hands on it. So here is my opinion on Halo 3 ODST. Halo 3 ODST is actually a side story that takes place during the events of Halo 2. Instead of playing Master Chief, you're actually playing a squad of orbital drop shock troopers. The story kicks off with a Covenant invading Earth, and your squad is tasked with kicking some ass. But like most of these stories, things don't really work out for you right away. You become stranded from the rest of your squad mates and have to go out and find them. Every time you find a little clue, you actually get to play through their little section of their story. Although the ODSTs are badasses, clearly, they are not Master Chief. You don't have shields, so you actually have to play a lot more tactically when you go into a fight. Just charging in guns blazing will get you killed. You may not have Master Chief's strengths, but you certainly got a few tools of your own. Not only do the ODST have the suppressed machine gun, but they have a really powerful handgun and the sweet night vision visor th mode thing that detects your enemies for you. I was a little worried about how much I would actually enjoy this game, because I'm a pretty big Halo fan. Hey guys, can I play? No, this is for Halo only! Yeah, get out of here, Ash! You're stupid! Ash, you're not fun at all, this is for Halo! I found out a fast right huh? Halo only! Halo rules! I was worried that this game wasn't going to be all that great, because I was a little disappointed with Halo 3, but my worries were completely unjustified. They added all these really nice elements that really changed the gameplay without changing it too much. It still feels like Halo, but it feels like something new. I really enjoyed this story, and I felt invested in the characters. Partly, though, that's because they basically took half the cast of Firefly and put them in ODST uniforms. Tell me I don't have but despite all that, the game's a lot of fun. The campaign's about five hours, but there's some nice replay value and you can co-op through it. And the new firefight mode and multiplayer is great, so it's it's just a really all-around really great Halo game. So, was that a yes or a no? So there you have it. Halo 3, ODST, a whole lot of fun. I mean, I, I was always kind of a big fan of, of the Halo franchise. Halo 3 kind of let me down this game, really. The, the campaign is a whole lot of fun. The gameplay is, is classic Halo, but it's a little different because you don't have shields. You know, it makes it slightly more tactical, but it still feels like Halo. So if you're a fan of the Halo games, you'll really enjoy this game.